Hi all, continuing our look at Bolzlaski in the Evolution of Chess Style series, let's have a look at a very beautiful game played in Moscow, 1950. So this was against Vladimir Alortsev. So Bolzlaski playing black after d4, knight f6, c4, he played actually d6 and after knight c3, not a king's engine defense here, but the old engine defense, which is immediate e5. It's not so bad for black if he, he loses castling rights here. This is well known. This wasn't played, but this position is not so bad for black as you might think, because black can usually play for c6, put his king on c7 and get uh, these dark squares later. So that's not so bad for black at all. In fact, it's got a good reputation. So white actually keeps after e5 keeps the tension in the center he plays actually e4 and not even minding a potential gain of tempo here which black takes advantage of this gain of tempo which you might think uh, is not wise for white to do but look at the bind on d5 this loss of time and the queen even going in front of the bishop because the bishop can actually finchetto here and there's a very nice grip, it seems, on the position. It's up to black to prove he's got dynamic play. This is quite a passive center. We have g6, b3. The bishops are going to be challenging each other on the diagonal. Bishop g7, bishop b2. White not yet developing any of the king's side pieces. Black is swiftly castling now. Bishop d3. And now we see knight g4. This is using that nice e5 square. Knight f3. And now knight g e5. Threatening to double white's pawns. The bishop just retreats. Knight takes f3. Bishop takes f3. Black seems to have already at least equalized here after knight d4. Bishop going back to d1. It doesn't seem such an aggressive setup for white. Of course, maintaining this Moroxy bind is nice but it's not the end of the world for black especially given black's next aggressive move f5 if white just routinely castled here then f4 looks pretty dangerous with ideas of f3 and a great hack attack potentially is on the cards so white actually took time to play e takes and after bishop takes actually challenged this knight now and trying to maybe exploit some weaknesses later against the black king if he can exchange off his bishop on b2 for the one on g7 so knight e2 not minding some simpl simplification here and the bishop on d1 of course affords this because c2 is covered here we have knight takes e2 bishop takes e2 and black actually volunteers the exchange of dark square bishops here so his king is not immediately on this dark square diagonal and an aggressive move queen g5 hitting g2 now in this position it is a bit tricky already for white if white routinely castles he didn't he played g3 if white does routinely castle this seems very good bishop h3 what does white do if bishop f3 there's rook takes f3 so we see this instead g3 is played but has white got away with this rook a e8 white castles has white got away with his kind of less than ambitious opening black plays bishop h3 here and there are some horrible problems for white in this position actually if the rook moves can you see what black can do here which is absolutely crushing the rook didn't move but if i give you five seconds here what would you play with black okay rook takes f2 this is just winning this didn't happen the rook didn't move yeah this is just too strong rook takes f2 the possibility so white plays f4 but now there's a really, really amazing and shocking 
move played in this position by, by, by Bozlowski, which shows he's really quite a dynamic, aggressive player. I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. What would you play here with black? So starting from now. Okay, not check because Rook F2, you're not even winning any material there. Nope. Black sacrifices his queen, bishop takes f1. So queen for rook at the moment, but now queen for rook and bishop after rook takes e2. Is this really enough? Remember though, look at these pawns, they're on dark squares, all three are on dark squares, and this is a light square bishop cutting through those weakened light squares. Queen c3, possibly queen d4 would be a little bit more tenacious. We see bishop g2. The bishop really wants to return here to c6 in this position because then rook g2 would be very very dangerous white tries to interfere with this plan queen d3 we have bishop f3 protecting the rook so still this idea of putting the bishop on c6 is possible after rook g2 check now and that happens rook f1 but isn't there a slight snag check King h1. Now here, black's play. Isn't this idea stops because surely white can take on f8 and it's only rook and bishop against queen then. Is that enough? What would you play here? Would you play bishop c6 or something else? I'll give you five seconds to pause the video in this position, black to play. Okay, bishop c6 was indeed played, not minding the exchange of rooks. If you had considered rook takes g3 check, it does allow rook takes f3, and we have variations like this check. And taking on b7, it's not so clear for black. So this is the absolute strongest bishop c6. Go for the rook and bishop against queen. It's a very unfortunate position of the white king in this position. So clearly rook takes g3 is now threatened. And there's very little white can do about it. He plays the check here. Wanting to let me grab the rook and bishop. But alas, can you see the final move of the game? Rook f2 check. Yep. And here, white resigns. A beautiful game, beautiful queen sacrifice. It's nice envisioning, envisioning, envisioning the variations with rook and bishop against queen being winning in that particular position with the pawn structure so compromised. The light square play is very, very strong. The rook and bishop are actually stronger than the queen. So a great game by Bolzlavsky. This is one of the sweeter more beautiful and celebrated games that you'll find in in many uh, players uh, ch on chess gamescom many players on chess gamescom have this game in their collection as one of their top bolzlavsky favorites so i hope you enjoyed it comments or questions on youtube thanks very much